Well, this is episode 6 and we are finally going into CSS. And uh, the first thing we have to do before we can actually style up our page is figure out how we can link to that CSS style sheet so that HTML knows where to find it. So to do that, we have to first create that CSS file. So that's as easy as creating any other file. So I'm just going to make a new file here on my FTP and call it style.css. And I'm not going to enter anything in there yet, but I just want to make sure that the page knows where to find it. So you can see that the page that I have open and the style sheet are both on example.com. So let's first initiate uh, a call to the style sheet. So to do that, we have to go into our head and we're going to use the link element. And the link element is one of those self-closing elements. So we can just type a slash and then the closing bracket. We don't need an end tag. Now, we have to tell the browser that it's going to be our primary style sheet. So to do that, we're going to type a space and then we're going to use the attribute rel and we're going to set that to style sheet. Then we're going to do another space and we're going to use another attribute and that is type. And we're going to set the type of this document to text slash CSS. So the browser knows how to interpret and read the data from that file. Now to actually tell it where that file is, we're going to use the attribute href. Now here's where it gets a little bit tricky. We can just type in the entire URL. So for example, since they are both on example.com, I could just type in http colon slash slash www.example.com slash style.css. However, most people choose not to do this. The reason being, if you have to move these at any time, or if you just completely move over to a different site, then this is all going to be messed up and you're going to have to retype in every single URL. So to fix this, we have to use something called relative paths. And relative paths are just the way of telling the browser where a style sheet or another document is based on where the current document is. So for example, Right here you see that the page and the style sheet are both in the exact same directory. They're both in example.com. So all we have to type in is style.css. However, let's say that style.css is in another folder. So I'm going to create another folder and I'll name it CSS. And I'll stick style.css in there. So now, how do we access that? because style.css is no longer in the same directory. It's now in the directory CSS. Well, all we have to do is type in CSS slash style.css. It just say style.css was in an even deeper directory. So I'll make another folder here. Stick style in there. Now you can see that style.css is now not even close to page.html, it's in CSS and it's in main. So we can just type in CSS slash main slash style.css because that's where it is relative to page.html. It's not really that difficult. You just have to type it in based on the current document that you have open. Now let's say, what if page.html is in a folder? So I'm going to get rid of these two folders here. And I'll create another style. And then I'll stick uh, our HTML file in this folder here. So now we have a bit of a problem because style.css isn't in the same directory, so we can't type just style.css. It's also not in a directory that's next to page.html, so we can not type something like style slash style.css. However, we do know that it is in the directory before page.html. So all we have to type is a dot dot slash. 
and that means go back one directory. So page at HTML is here, then the browser is looking at this and it's going to go back one directory and then it's going to see style.css. Now if you just say there's another folder here that we stick the style sheet in, all we have to do is type that folder name after the go back one directory. So now what you're telling the browser is okay we're here now we're gonna go back one directory then we're gonna go into the style directory and then we're gonna pull out style.css and that's all the browser really has to do so so if you're kinda of confused on what the relative path should be just look at this and pretend you're interpreting it as a browser so if you have something like dot dot slash dot dot slash css slash main slash style dot css then you could say okay from this page we're gonna go back a directory then we're gonna go back another directory then we're gonna go into css into main and pull out style dot css that's all the browser has to do so now that you know that we can go right into creating our css file and really adding a lot of content to it